which is the best IDE for Python. These are all the most used Python IDE. With the conclusion PyCharm is best for Java developers. If you want to do machine learning with the help of our language, then Rodeo is the best option. Just three steps we have to follow to complete the installation. Please click on subscribe button and don't forget to tap the bell symbol to get notified about new videos. Thank you. Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. Today we are going to see a very confusing topic for many, which is the best IDE for Python. IDE means Integrated Development Environment where we code and test the application. Just to find which is the best IDE, I googled and read many articles. What I found is every tool is having their own merits and demerits. We have to select the tool based on some criteria. My criteria is both the beginners and the advanced user should feel easy to use the IDE. So I felt Python 3 Anaconda package and a Jupyter IDE will be the best combination to learn Python easily. Apart from Jupyter, these are all the most used Python IDE. In general, all these tools are having common characteristics such as good for coding, clean and smart interface, good for debugging, integration to other tools. Like that, we have so many good features which is common to all these tools. But now I am going to explain only the deciding factor point which will be helpful to you to select the Python ID if you don't want to use Jupyter. First one, PyCharm. In ranking wise, PyCharm is the first best Python IDE. It's JetBrain product, the company which developed the IntelliJ IDEA which is used for Java development project. If you are a Java developer and already have IntelliJ IDEA experience, better choose this tool. It is extremely good for debugging purpose. Even in my introduction video, I explained three sample program using PyCharm only. So the conclusion PyCharm is best for Java developers. The second tool is Spider. It is designed specifically for data science. If you already worked in RStudio and MATLAB, then you can choose Spider. But if you are not a data science aspirant, then it is not an option to select. The third one is Atom. Atom is also good in every aspect when compared to other top tools because it's a GitHub product. But the only issue with this tool is it will be having a very weak performance on the older CPU. So that is one big drawback which needs to be noted down. And uh, fourth, Rodeo. If you already know our language and want to learn Python, then you can use this tool. If you want to do machine learning with the help of our language, then Rodeo is the best option. And fifth one is the Visual Studio Code. It is a Microsoft product. Now it is a very trending tool also. If you are from the development background already used this tool, then you can select Visual Studio. And the sixth one is Idle. It's Python own product. It is a very lightweight when compared to other tools. But the only problem with this tool is no project management capability. Hope you got an idea how to choose your convenient Python IDE, but I'll be using Jupyter IDE throughout this video series. Just three steps we have to follow to complete the installation. Once we complete it, we'll try out two sample programs. The first step is install Python 3. Before installing, we have to check whether the Python is available or not. Go to the command, command prompt. In this, type Python. Python is not recognized as an internal or external command. It means Python is not available in your system. And it is always a good practice before download, you can check it here. If Python is not there, then you can download. If it is there, then no need to download it again. Go to the Google page, then type Python 3 download. It will take you directly to the official page. Click on the first link. I'll be mentioning this link in the video description also. Based on your OS version, you have to choose the Python 3. I am using Windows, so I will be downloading the Windows version. If you are using Linux or Mac, then you can click on the particular Mac OS link, then download the Python 3 version. In this video tutorial, we are going to do it in Windows and there is no big difference between Windows and Mac. The coding will work exactly same, so you no need to worry about it. Just click on this button. It will start download. Initially, Python version 2.7 was widely used. 
Now Python 3 was released with many updates like syntax changes, print functions, division operators, exchange and uh, error handlings. We will be using Python 3 throughout this video tutorial. It is always a good practice once you download just move it to the C drive, create a folder Python and paste it here. Now right click on Python 3.7 and click as run as administrator you will get this pop up. Here you have to click on install now and very important step is add python 3.7 to the path make sure you select both this checkbox then click on install now it will take some time for installation i crop the installation time in this video but you have to wait for a while till it gets fully completed setup was successful click on close now once again go to the command prompt type python now see here you got python 3.7 version is installed you have to get this particular message then only it is installed even here itself you can confirm whether it is installed or not print a hello world the step 2 is install the anaconda it is a package manager and environment manager which is having almost 1500 open source package now we'll see how to install this go to the google here type anaconda Conda download it will take you to the official page I will also mention this particular URL in the video description for direct download same like Python it is used for Windows Mac and Linux you have to choose the file as per your OS click on Windows in the Windows we are going to use 3.7 and Windows is having two things one is 32 bit another 64 bit if you want to know how to find how many bits your system is search for my pc or my computer click on properties here you can see your computer configuration my system 64 bit oh yes so i am going to click on 64 bit just it started downloading close it once the file is downloaded just right click run as administrator the installation started click on next agree next next then the very important is add anaconda to the system path environment variable make sure both these checkboxes clicked install now installation is started it will take a lot of time the anaconda installation is completed my ram is 4 gb for me it took 30 minutes the installation is completed then click on next to bring for the visual studio code but we don't want this skip it then finish it after this open the command prompt just type the jupyter notebook click on enter it takes some time to load files then the jupyter notebook will be opened so this is an url we can open it copy and paste this url to the browser when you connect for the first time this one just paste and enter the jupyter is you can create your own folders as you wish this is a c drive you can see these are all the folders which is available in the c drive we, what we can do we can create a folder here create the python 3 now jupyter notebook is open here only we will do our coding print hello world just run it you will get the output we have successfully completed installation of python 3 anaconda and opened the jupyter notebook that's the end of today's session in case of any clarification please mail me or ping me to my linkedin id Thanks for watching. Happy learning.